Hello and welcome everybody to my YouTube presentation about setting up Little Brother version 0.3.1 revision 68 on an Ubuntu 19.3 system. What is Little Brother? Uh, Little Brother is a Python tool to monitor the login times of users on Linux clusters, usually for monitoring children, their playtime. It also works on single hosts. Um, it sh since it's in Python, it should run on most Debian-based distributions. Um, for each user, you can um, specify the login times um, and the durations for the day. Um, <clears throat> and what's interesting, it has a remote administration uh, interface that allows you to administer the times, for example, uh, from remote. There's support for several languages. What's the agenda of this YouTube video? First, I will describe the setup of my demo system. Um, then I will install the Debian package on that system. We'll take a quick look at the configuration file and do a minor change, which is uh, suggested, recommended um, for you. Then we'll start the application and I'll give you a quick glance at the web front and we'll do a simple test with a single user. So what is my demo system like? Um, I'm using GNOME boxes to run a, um, a virtual machine, an Ubuntu system, version 19.3. And I pre-installed some, some packages. Uh, there is a desktop um, with the, um, provided by the package Mate. And there is a desktop manager provided by LightDM. Um, also, I have two regular users called Leon and Christoph, and we'll use Leon for our test. So, let's go to the installation. Um, there is a uh, SourceForge website where you can download um, the current version of Little Brother. I'm using um, version um, 0 0.3.1 as I uh, mentioned. Um, I've already done this uh, beforehand so we won't have to wait for the download. Um, I'm going to install the package using the dpackage command um, and giving the ex ex explicit package file name and afterwards I'll, I'll use apt-get install dash f to uh, force the installation of all the packages that Little Brother will, uh, depends on. The package doesn't do this itself. Okay, so let's do that. So here you can see my, um, my virtual machine. And um, here, up here, I've already downloaded um, the required version. Actually, <laughs> there is more than one version, but we're going to use this one here. Um, okay, the package install little brother about 3.1 68. That was quick, but we don't have the uh, the other packages yet, so I issue apt-get install minus f. It will download <clears throat> several other Debian packages and once it's done with that it will start pip to install also a number of Python packages. Little Brother itself is, is um, distributed as a Python package. So, okay. 
That looks good. So we've installed the package. We'll take a quick look at the configuration file. Um, it can be found in slash etc slash little brother. It's called littlebrother.config. And uh, it's, it's not a tiny file. There are quite a few um, configuration items that you can influence. But for the most basic installation that we do here, um, you will only uh, need to modify two settings. Actually, one is required more or less, and the other one is just recommended. Um, we'll change the admin password to something else so that only you, as the person who knows the password, can log in and not your kids. And um, then we all we also change the the app secret. This is a little technical. Um, this token is used to generate HTML cookies. But this is not really required for the setup, for the easy setup that we have here. So we'll um, <clears throat> start an editor to, um, to edit the configuration file. see where do we have the password it's here so I'll set the password just to test and I'll change the app secret to some random combinations of, of letters and digits and that's it and then I'll start the application using um, system control. I'm going to show you what I do exactly. So we start the application. We use system control, the, the standard Debian control command start. The service is called little brother. And then we'll take a quick look at the, the log file and see if it's all right. So system control start little brother. That was successful. We'll look at the configuration file. Tail dash f bar log little brother little brother. And you can see it looks pretty okay. Um, they're just info messages, but no major problems. Okay, so let's see. Now we'll take a look at the web front end. Um, Little Brother has a web server running on the local host, and the default port number is 5555. What we'll do is we'll add a user. Um, to be monitored, which will be Leon. Then we'll define a very simplistic rule set for that user and test if the user is correctly locked out because we'll make the rule such that he is not allowed to play right now. Okay, so let's take a look at that. I'm using Firefox. localhost.5555 and you can see um, it comes up with the status page which shows the users that are being monitored since there is no user defined now the list is basically empty it's just the header we'll go to the users page we have to log in using admin and the test as password this is the, um, again, the user list 
of monitor users it's empty again but here we have uh, a chance to pick Leon and add him to the users I'll open the entry by clicking on the name and um, I'll open the rule sets and within the rule sets I'll open the default rule okay so um, on our system we currently have the time eight, about 8 30 p.m. so I will modify the default rule that the maximum time of day uh, until which Leon is allowed to play is um, 8 p.m. so 20 hundred hours change that and also uh, a change that I have to make is I have to tick off this setting because this activates the actual monitoring uh, when you set up an elaborate rule set and devices later on make sure you, that you don't activate the monitoring before everything is is set so I'll save this and uh, go back to the status page and here you can see Leon is now being monitored but there is no it, he's not not allowed to play this is what the the red cross denotes and he's not allowed to play because um, there is no activity allowed after 20 hundred hours so now what I will do here I will use super user to log into Leon's account and uh, I'm kicked out very quickly by little brother because I'm not allowed to be logged in okay now I do the opposite test I'm, um, I go to the admin page to Leon and um, I'll do an overwrite for today um, because um, Leon um, <clears throat> I promised Leon some extra play time and actually I give him free play today so um, this overrides the default setting you can see um, he is now allowed to play and now I log in as Leon again. Um, when I go back to the status page, you can see that here we have a current activity now, which started at 8.30 p.m. and the, the display is blinking. I can open this entry to see the history of the past seven days and today can see again there is a blinking entry <coughs> for Leon be because he is currently active so let's lock him out again actually let's wait until he has spent at least one minute in here because um, the system is pre-configured to ignore uh, play times that are less than a certain number of seconds and the default is 60 seconds um, if Leon locked out before that time um, <coughs> it wouldn't be counted as a real login so now we have one minute of play time and I can lock him out <coughs> go back to the status and it takes a few seconds before little brother picks up the change and now you can see we have a previous activity now which was from 8.30 to 8.31 p.m. <clears throat> and uh, it also um, shows up here um, for today and if there's more than one login they will be uh, in this list down here so this is the the most basic installation of Little Brother. Um, we go back to our presentation. Um, as I said, you can download Little Brother from 
from the source for for each side make sure that you have download a current version um, most of the doc documentation is available at the github site and there's also a facebook page uh, with some information if you run into any problems don't hesitate to um, send email to little brother or um, create an issue at github so that i can take care of it well thank you very much for watching uh, my youtube pr presentation i'm looking forward to you using um, little brother and uh, please uh, provide me with feedback positive or negative so that i can improve the application thank you very much and bye